Hello friends, Sentinel H here and welcome back to Dead Cells. So we're here in the prisoner's cells. Um, only we've got all these cool like baubles hanging from the ceiling. <clears throat> these are all of our upgrades. So these are all of our weapons and our, our health uh, upgrades and our money upgrades. Every permanent unlock that we acquire goes up in these jars. Unfortunately, I can't like fish these weapons out. <laughs> Which I would really like to because uh, these starter weapons are crap. I can get, there's an unlock I can get that uh, will cause one of my unlocked weapons to randomly spawn, but I haven't gotten it yet. This guy down here appeared recently, and apparently what he does is he keeps the records of of all the stuff that you've done. I I can't figure out how to go to the next page, but um, you know I, there's probably some sort of a button I don't know about. Um, but it tells us here that we've, we've done seven runs. We haven't completed any, obviously. Um, I've acquired a bunch of gold and spent it. I've, I've spent a bunch of cells, and I've used teleporters and healing flasks. So this is going to be the eighth run. I did quite a few runs after we last recorded, but, you know, I haven't done all that well. This door appeared, but I can't open it. So I'm not sure what to do there. I have to get, like, back in the swing of this game. Oh, I can use shift to dash. Okay. See, if I try to open this door, he, he can't do it. No idea what that is. I did find a boss, but I promptly died. I also discovered this little move, where you can come down from above and slam the ground some damage and stun the enemies underneath you. And then, every once in a while, try and attack... Oh, there we go. You can attack the walls and you can find secrets. This isn't very useful because I have full health. There's actually, depending on whether you're a vegetarian or not, there's actually a um, setting in the options menu where you can change your character's diet so that those food items, like that kebab, will actually be different. So. You can set yourself to vegetarian, and I imagine you'll acquire some sort I don't really want to pay a thousand gold for the grenades. I acquired a couple of runes. Now, these things called runes that allow you to interact with, th with the environment and move around in different ways. This one requires a teleportation room, which I now have. And obviously, it uh, teleports me to another room. Now, I have the bear trap. Bear trap is nice. Flashbangs are cool, but they're not as cool as the freeze mines, which are my grenades, which are my favorite. So I'm already pretty much, I'm already starting to figure out, there's a secret there, you can sometimes tell because you can sometimes see the little rooms. Flashbangs are useful for interrupting the enemies when they are about to do something because it stuns them a little. Um, okay, here we, have, here we find a loot chest, Let's see what's in there. And we're going to go through this run until we die. I don't actually want the grenade. I like the freeze grenades. Freeze grenades are great because obviously they freeze people. My oh crap, I forgot about the shield dudes. Yeah, shield dudes, gotta make sure you don't smack them in the shield. And these little things that, if you remember before, I could only tickle these. I have a rune that grows a vine out of them, so again, you're, you're able to get to other areas. Here's a much better sword, the Balanced Blade. It's not my favorite, but it's definitely better than that. Drops a bomb when you roll. Oh, cool! I haven't actually ever... Uh, I've never actually seen this amulet. There is a cooldown. Not sure what that cooldown is. It's not that long. I'm going to increase my health because it hasn't been increased yet. Well, I hate these guys that they can see through the walls. If an enemy is on the other side of the wall, then you can get some uh, free damage off on them by bashing the door. Because when the splinters hit them, they get stunned. Get good at rolling. That is the best advice I can give to anyone starting this game. 
get very good at rolling. I am not. At this moment, very good at it. Okay, that grenade that when you roll doesn't really do very much damage, so... Ooh, a new thing. The ice bow. Well, if it's anything like the other ice uh, weapons, it'll stun enemies, which will make it very... Um, or freeze them, I mean. Oh yeah, and there's this guy. Do you remember that warrior guy from earlier? Yeah, he's dead now. Dead for a while. I got a lot of interesting things actually happened while I was not recording, which is a bit disappointing, but um, I think you can have multiple save saves, so I might go back and uh, find those again. Basically, he shows up dead, and then he, you acquire the um, the bloop from him, you require the blueprint for... I don't really want any of these. Although, no, my ice grenade is here, so I definitely want this one. And I'm going to swap it for the flashbang. There we go. Now I have my two favorite items that impede movement. I find that I, I really like impeding the enemy's movement. It really helps me out a lot. So we're going to the promenade of the condemned. So that guy shows up dead and then you can acquire the broadsword, which I've only ever used once. It's extremely slow, but it's extremely powerful on everything. All right, here we have this dude again. I've only got eight cells. So the things that I've acquired are, um, here's the broadsword. Uh, I've got the blood sword, the Spartan sandals, which are like a kick. The oiled sword, which is nice because it, it uh, deals extra damage to frozen enemies. The nutcracker, which is a hammer that deals a high amount of damage when they're above 75% health. So you basically, the electric whip, the greed shield, which gives you some extra money every time you block. Basically, this thing is great for hitting them the first time when they're at full health, and then they take a huge chunk of extra damage. So this ice bow freezes the enemies that are struck by my arrows. Good. That's what I thought it did. And um, I like the idea of that. I do want to get the gold recovery too, so I keep more of my money. I do want to, however, want to unlock the infantry bow. I've been trying to unlock this for a while. It seems really nice. You gotta spend all your cells before you go forward, so we'll just do that. And I, uh, I'll use this to fill up my flask. I have acquired a flask upgrade, so my flask I can now use twice. Now that we're actually at the promenade, uh, I'm gonna rush through this as fast as I can to try and open the time lock door, because those time doors are awesome. There's a lot of really good stuff behind them, but you gotta go really fast. I hate these guys. Oops, I should have just dodged that guy. Don't want to go down there. It's not the first one that has the timed door. Oh, come on. Taking damage doesn't matter. It's all about time. I think it might be down here. Here it is. What? It was sealed a minute ago. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I rushed through that as quickly as I could. All right, it must have been, it must, the time must start when you first start talking to that dude. And that, uh, is in the cells room, that, that disappoints me, actually. We'll increase our strength. Kill these dudes. Yeah, see, I really would have liked to go through that door because there's a lot of good stuff on the other side of them. Ah, crap. This game does have a system similar to, I guess, Bloodborne has it. Where if you take some damage... If you very quickly attack the enemy a whole bunch, you can actually get some of your health back. I hate these birds. Or these bat creatures, whatever the heck they are. Let's we'll see what's over here. That could have been really dangerous for me to do. That's the old sewers. I hate the old sewers. I don't want to do the old sewers right now. I know you haven't seen the old sewers, but they're annoying as hell. And I did a whole bunch of runs of them a while ago, and it was awful. So now I've got my Frost Blast. I've got um, 
essentially my favorite combination of items back. These guys are so annoying. Don't run with shields, which you really want to have when those guys are around so you can block their little annoying charge. Okay, gotta kill this. Oh, come on, I keep forgetting about that. I keep forgetting that after they go, ooh, I really gotta roll out of the way. Doesn't matter if I'm attacking them, it does not interrupt their charge. The only way to stop it is to freeze them, or otherwise stun them. But the way that I have to do that is freezing. I'd really like to get the oiled sword because, like I said, it deals bonus damage to frozen enemies. Alright, here we go. Let's go up here. Well, actually, there's something down over there. I don't really want to run past, like, all the good stuff. Because, you know, stat upgrades are really important. It's not even the cells that I'm so much cared about. It's the, um... Opportunity to increase your stats. If they're there. Or find a chest. Okay, that's got the blood sword in it. 100% damage on a burning target. I'm not going to light things on fire, but it does deal more damage than the balanced blade. Take the teleporter back up, and we'll head out to the ramparts. Which I did once before, but I died quite quickly, if I remember correctly. This time we'll do better, just because I've played the game more. I hate not having. I, I hate not having um, my grenades available. No, no, there's a thing here. When those birds are around, I hate those birds with a fiery passion. So the blood sword is nice. It makes them bleed, which isn't really the reason I like it. Um, that's cool. We can go here now, actually. Now that I have the teleportation rune, I can use that to get over here. Oh, the prison depths. Okay, is this a new location? I'll do that instead of the ramparts. Cool. So as you can see, you can access different areas depending on the um, equipment that you have. So here's this guy. And we'll give him our cells. Four of them to unlock the infantry bow. It inflicts critical strikes to close range. Now that we've unlocked enough stuff, we can actually get Healing Potion 3, which, of course, is going to take a really long time with costing that many cells. Um, we're currently using the Blood Sword, so I might want to upgrade it just, you know, because... Um, I, I wish I could upgrade the Frost Blast, uh, and where's my... My Ice Grenades are already up, upgraded, so... I think what I should do, however, is I should start pouring some stuff into this. Uh, randomly selected from those I've unlocked. I've only unlocked one bow, so it, it would um, almost always give me a, a better bow. Or it would always do it. Let's just pour the cells in here. It doesn't really matter what I spend the cells on. Let's just pick this up. In fact, we could just go for a bow and magic build. And since it does criticals at close range, it's actually... Uh, Pretty nice. Well, we'll see if this is a, val a valuable strategy or not. I'll probably regret it. But if I do regret it, I can find another bow to replace it with, or I'll just die. So you can now experience the prison depths with me. It rubs the lotion on its skin. <laughs> That's the uh, tagline for the prison depths. Oh, goodness. If this is going to have tons of spikes, then this is going to be annoying. Oh, crap. How I did so much damage. This is not going to work. I have just decided. This having a bow as my primary weapon is not gonna work. Probably. 
I mean, I'll give it a shot. Let's wait for the grenade to be back up. I mean, we're doing good damage, but I feel like I'd li I'd prefer to have the um, a sword. The firebrand was a bit of a special case since that was a very fast fire attacking, and it also attacked at a different angle. Can't actually hurt hurt this guy from up here. So with the infantry bow, you really want to be close up to them to deal the most damage. We'll upgrade our skills here, that's nice. Yeah, look at that, it doesn't deal hardly any damage at long range. So, not a bad weapon at all. I hate these. Those guys will deal a crap load of damage if you let them explode on you. I'm serious, like so much damage. It's unbelievable. Oh no! No! I I, I almost think OBS is introducing some amount of lag uh, into my recording. I may have to check that out. I may have to do monitor capture for this game, if game capture is slowing it down, because it felt a little bit laggy. Let's see, what, what is my FPS? Is it going to stay at 14? Yeah, OBS is definitely slowing the game down. 14 FPS is not what we want. And it's not what the game wants either. So anyway, that was our run. <laughs> we didn't get all that far. Um, I'm sorry for the short video today, but uh, I'm starting a new... I, I've been, you know, working a new job, and so... We're just going to have to wait and see if I have to drop days from the schedule. If I have to drop days from the schedule, Wednesday will be the first day that drops. So we'll have to see. Um, wish me luck. Anyway, thanks for watching. Join our Discord if you're interested. Like and comment down below if you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more Dead Cells. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.